Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a very quick unboxing for you guys for a very cool product. I've actually been waiting for this for some time. And uh, I'm starting from scratch from the actual shipping package. Just to surprise you and to surprise me a little bit. So here we go. Yeah, good stuff. Where's the front? It is for the Intel i7-4790K processor. This is some awesome stuff here. So, let's get into it. Alright, so... As you can see here, brand new in the box. Never been opened, obviously still in the packaging. So we open it up. Actually, let me open it up so that you guys can see a lot better view. Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. Doing the unboxing up close of the Intel i7-4790K. Great stuff, 8 megs of cache, 4 gigahertz on all cores, stock. You can overclock it, but really why would you need to? Yeah, I know, I want to overclock it too. But anyway, so in every single new package, you'll flip it over to the side, and you can actually see your processor here. Some of you might have already built a billion computers, but this unboxing is more for people that have never built a computer, people that don't have the luxury of being able to afford a processor or are kind of scared of buying a processor, motherboard, memory, all separately, and then building it themselves. So, kind of going to help you out. This is part of a much bigger review. I hope to have more of the parts, but I have just enough to build a computer. So... I'll show you guys that in a little little bit. So let's open her up. All right. So right out of the box, you have a little Intel manual. This tells you about the warranty, installation instructions, and it gives you the Intel Inside logo. You can paste that on your case or wherever you want to paste it. Myself, I don't like putting it on the case. I don't like putting any stickers on the case. But I've known a lot of customers and a lot of friends that actually like doing that. And that's cool if that's what you like. Come sealed, so you can't look at it unless you open it up. But I'm not going to bore you with that. And this one, I don't remember this one. Oh, this one comes with, since Intel now owns McAfee uh, for a few years now, uh, brings you... Uh, I guess a licensed version, oh no, a trial version of McAfee Drive Safe, an unlimited version of Drive Protection, and a bunch of other stuff. So, and a website where you can download it all. All right. So then here, on the flip side, you have protected with this nice piece of plastic to protect it against dust and the other little things that may get in there, and to protect the thermal paste so you don't get your grubby little fingers on it. It's kind of fun, but not really. So Intel gets a lot of flack for these heat sinks. They're not amazing, but they're not bad either. If you're buying all these pieces for your computer and you don't have a lot of money, save the CPU heat sink for last because this one does just great. You can even overclock a little bit on it. Probably don't want to go too extreme because you're not going to burn out your processor, well, unless you overclock your own, but you're not going to burn out your processor. It'll just throttle itself down real low, so you kind of defeat the purpose of overclocking. So, again, this guy's pretty good. I would suggest holding off on buying a heatsink fan until you have a little bit more money, or if you have those heatsink fans that have the plate in the back of the board, kind of a pain in the butt to have to take your board out after it's been built for a while just to put the back plate on so you can put the heat sink on so just a little word to the wise up to you how you want to do that and last 
but definitely not least the processor. You can open it up by pulling it this way and undoing it or just easily slide it out. Let me show you the other way. You can just do that and take it out, but it's a lot easier just to pull it out the way I showed you. Very quick and dirty review. Here is the CPU. You can see up real close. A little print on the CPU. Open that up. Take this out. Here are the pins on the bottom. You don't want to touch these guys. I mean, mind you, you might nip it a little bit with your fingertips and whatever, but the grease on your fingers is not good for this. You can be the cleanest person in the world, but you will have grease on your fingertips. Try to avoid touching it. Again, you're going to get a little on there when you install, unless you wear gloves or something, but just try not to touch it. Cool. And that is the quickest unboxing I think I've done. Again, not a lot, a whole lot to it, but I wanted to show those of you that have actually never purchased a processor separately how it comes. So again, this is a part of a much bigger review. And again, Iggy with Dragon Blogger doing the unboxing for the Intel 479, I'm sorry, 4790K processor. Again, 4 gigahertz right out of the box. 8 megs of cash and socket 1150. Cool stuff. Get back to you guys soon. See ya.